Third free. Let's go, dude. Oh. Adam Ritter, fastest time out of this group at 152.01 in the prelims. Lochte Phelps head to head, 1 2. In Shanghai last summer, do you expect this is a, a possible head to head in London? This event? This could be a tough event for the Americans, period. I mean, you, you, you've got some really good swimmers in this, the 200 free. Unlike the IMs, where I think Phelps and Lochte are clearly above everybody else, this one right here, oh. They will have a lot of competition. Sun Yang of China, Agnew from France, Biederman, Park Taewon from Korea, Biederman from Germany. There, there are so many swimmers that it wouldn't surprise me at all that, that if they beat both Phelps and Lochte. Now, Phelps and Lochte obviously will be co favorites. Right. And, that, and the name you mentioned, uh, we saw a, a terrific meet in Atlanta last December is Agnel, Yannick Agnel of France. Yeah, and Agnel already had their, his Olympic trials uh, a couple weeks ago, went 144.4, and his time was actually faster than what Lochte went at the World Championships last summer. So this is no gimme for the Americans, right. unlike in 2008 where Phelps was so much better than anybody else. This, is, uh, this, one, this one will be a little bit trickier. Coming to... 150. It is Ritter in lane four with the lead. Ritter has some international experience. Swim World University Games back in 07. Gold medalist in the 400 free relay and 200 free. It's gonna, looks like he's going to hang on here, Adam Ritter. Brett Fraser in lane two appears to be coming in to get second. And Scott Robison. Charlotte in lane seven winds up taking third in the B final. And 51.05, so Ritter knocked a second, a full second off his prelim time. You coming to the finish there. You always want to seek and search for that fresh water out in front of you. Maintain that technique the last 10 meters, especially when you get tired. So there are the top three from the B final.